I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The pandemic rages on with one CBD company getting a warning letter from the FDA for making unfounded claims. Neuro XPF said it could prevent COVID-19 with no science to back up that claim. The FDA quickly responded and told the company to stop or risk legal action. Despite the pandemic, there were several earnings announcements this week. Hexo reported a staggering net loss of $289 million for fiscal 2020 second quarter on net revenue of just $17 million. Under the cover of darkness, Zenebus Global delivered its earnings at 1 a.m. in the morning when it said that its 2019 net revenue was $66.5 million, but its net loss for the year was $127 million. High Tide reported that its revenue for the quarter increased 173% to $13.6 million, and they managed to trim their operating losses to $1.9 million. Mary Med's quarterly revenues increased to $5.19 million. For the full year, their total revenues were $45.6 million, but their net loss for the full year 2019 was $81 million. Part of that was due to the bankruptcy of its investment in Gencana. In psychedelic news, MindMed signed a multi-year deal on LSD studies with the laboratory of Professor Dr. Matthias Lactai with the University Hospital Basel in Switzerland. And medicinal mushroom company Champignon Brands has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire Tassili Life Sciences in an all-stock deal. Tassili will get 16 million shares, which is roughly 7.3 million Canadian dollars. And that's it for this week, everyone. Keep up with your physical distancing and stay safe out there.